All right, here we go. What's happening? Nordy here with you today. Um, in some of my other videos, I've gone through a bunch of my memorabilia and all the small stuff that I have, and I've said that I was going to put it into frames. Well, um, this week I've been super busy and I'm a little late on my video, so we're going to run through a real quick one, and uh, I'm going to put some stuff in frames that I get at the really cheap dollar store that everyone has. The frames are a buck, um, and we're just going to go through a few of those really fast and uh, show you how you can really take all your stuff and put it into a nice frame. Cheap, cheap, cheap frame, but a nice frame. Get it up on a wall and make it look a lot better. Get it out of the drawers, get it out of the folders, get it on your wall. It's your memorabilia. You carried it around for all these years. Why aren't you putting it up on the wall? And besides, at the end, when you're not around anymore and I'm not around anymore, it's going to be a collection of framed stuff. Remember that. It's not just going to be a bunch of stuff in an envelope that just gets put by the wayside. People will remember it and want it because it's in a nicer presentation. So, um... Most of the stuff, when you have big frames like this, um, you either take it in and get it done or you do it yourself. Um, but with the smalls, oh and by the way, the reason I was busy this week is I've been harvesting weed. And here's a nice little bunch of buds that are drying out. Pretty nice, beautiful little um, super high octane nugs. And if you wait around till the end of the video, I'll take you out back and I'll show you the last plant that's still going out there, a nice Mac one, and it looks beautiful in the sun. So let's get on with it. This is super easy. All you need is this basic stuff. I already pre-prepared it. Um, you need tape, some cardboard, um, a couple of cheap dollar frames, and this is all at your dollar store. You cut them out, fit them. Just follow this little thing right here, this little five by seven, you cut it out, you get this black thing. Um, for the background, you can center your piece in there. It drops right in. Stuff that fits some of the 4x6 ones um, are a little easier to work with, like this old postcard that the dead sent us um, back in the day. Drops right on into there. Um, I've got all these other pieces that I've already framed, and like I said, they were all just a buck. So it's super easy. All you need is tape, a ruler, a pencil, couple of cheap frames and a lot of these frames surprisingly enough come with glass in them and so for a buck at your dollar store you can't beat it so all these different things like there's a like kind of a trippy rainbow frame to go with this kind of trippy um greek and ventura poster that i someone handed me back in the day um but you can put any of your stuff into these little frames and then balance it out like okay this um Grateful Dead movie poster that I have. Um, my friend Farrell gave it to me as in one of my other videos when we were talking about tapers. But that little authenticity card for the second printing goes with this poster. So I'm putting it into this frame so that I, when I put this back into its new frame, they go together. And you can use different color background paper like the Jimi Hendrix poster. I used orange to back it. Now that's a big giant dead poster there and that one needs a new frame. I just set it up there because I love it and uh, filled in the background really nicely. But um, essentially, all you got to do is just measure it out real easy. Drop the frame thing back in. Put the tabs back down. You're good to go. Like It's just simple, easy, basic. Turn it over. Line it up. That one's not lined up because it's there we go. Now it's set in there perfect. I didn't snap it down, but it's simple. Super, super easy. And, you know... There's, what, 10 pieces on the on the bed here, and there's five more small ones right there. That's 15 bucks. The paper was a dollar, no, it's 50 cents for a 30 by, like, 40 sheet. Everybody's got paper, pen, all this other stuff, you know. Um, it's super easy, super fun, and, you know, all you got to do is just buy some cheap frames and trace the stuff out and line it up and put it in there and then get one of those little hammer kits from your grocery store or from your hardware store hang them up so um with that said i appreciate you guys watching this today i'm a little late a couple days late on doing this video and i was kind of running out of an idea to because i've been working on the weed plants all week and it has taken up most of my time but uh, i figured this would be a good one so we're gonna head out right now 
And thank you for watching all the way till the end. And I'm going to show you the last plan I got up. And it's coming down tomorrow. Maybe the day after. But um, thanks for watching. And uh, let's take a trip outside and check out that plant. Good to see y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and hit one of these two videos that's going to be right here or right there. Appreciate y'all, and we'll talk to you shortly. There's my thumb right in front of the camera, like always. Ha. Ooh, there we go. Ah, uh, going close. They're a little, not as thick as I want them to be, but I don't have the best sun. But I told you I'd let you check out this last one that's still out here. This is a Mac 1, I believe. But yeah, um, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate you. Uh, give me some thumbs up and hit that like and subscribe. And if you're into this, um, send me a couple comments and let me know what's going on. It's all about the framing, keeping it out of the drawers and up on the walls. And you know what? You'll have a collection of framed stuff in the end, not just a bunch of stuff laying in the drawers. So. Keep that in mind, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Have a great day. Nordy, I'm out of here. Peace.